So this video is going to be about setting up a web development environment in Chromebook. With Chromebook itself, you go through something called Web Store for a lot of your apps or things and extensions. They don't really work very well for web development or web design. Um, you can still use, of course, things like CodePen or Live where you to do things online. You could use them platforms and that's, uh, that's fine if that's good enough for you. But to really do um, good web development, it's really best to have the, the right tools. So there's two ways you can go to settings. If you don't know anything much about Chromebook or you've just been buying a Chromebook, you can go here at the start and you can go through that with the settings there. And or you could actually do the search key, which is near the tab on the left hand side. And you could go this way, which both okay. So settings and go to device, which is just down here. So it's one, two, three, four, five down on mine. Um, so just go a little bit further here and you go to advanced. And what we're going to do is set up Linux um, Debian on a Chromebook. And so there is the Linux and uh, development environment so you can run linux tools editors ides on all on your chromebook so you turn this on and we set this environment up <clears throat> username night shoot 87 uh recommended that's 10 gigabytes this is a very very cheap chromebook this and it only comes with 32 gigabytes actually on the computer itself so we just install and uh, this is going to take a little while, so I'll come back to this. So when you've installed Linux, this is something what you'll see, which is the terminal. And this is where you can install your programs. Now, this can seem daunting at first if you've never done it before. But um, I'll try and walk you through how to just set up some programs just to get you going on uh, your website journey on Chromebook. So on here, we have two that you can do is Atom and VS Code. And if you're doing web development, you're probably seeing both of these. So very simply put, this will take you to the page atom.io. And there's two Linux distros that you can download. The one you want is download.dev. For Debian. So, and the same with this, it's exactly the, the same basically as .deb there. And that is just code.visualstudio.com website. So when you've done that, it goes down to the to the download folder by default, which you can access by going to files. And when you say my files, this is where it is here. So and then you go. It goes into your downloads folder. So this one here is, I think this one's Atom. But what you want to do when you do that is it won't work by just that. So what you've got to do is you've got to cut or copy and put it into your Linux files, which is just underneath once you've installed it. So now you see this, which is Atom and uh, Visual Code. So how you access this again is uh, by either going up here to this at the top on, my, on the left, and yours will probably be uh, down at the uh, on the bottom by default. So you just click this, uh, the white circle there. So that, or another way, like I've said in, uh, at the beginning of the video, is you can do by search uh, tab, uh, near the tab uh, key. So here you would see this here now as Linux apps, and this is Visual Studio is now installed. So there you see that. Um, so if you go to um, where are we are, files. So this one here, if we just go to Atom and then install. And you just let that install there. So again, I'll just leave that to get on. So now the installation is finished for Atom. And like I said, Linux files are here. You don't touch them. 
So you just go to at the top there and we find the Linux apps here. So opening up Atom. So that here's Atom. It's uh, if you've used Atom before, and this is the familiar uh, screen, you can choose a password if you want and a confirm password. I don't. And then you can just open your projects and install packages like Emmet and things like that. And, uh, you know, if you've, as I say, if you've used it, you'll know how to, it works exactly the same on here. Uh, and it works very well. I'm, I'm more of a fan of Atom than I am of VS Code. Very rarely use VS Code. I'm not, I don't really like it for some reason. I think it's just what you get used to. I've used Atom for years. So the other way is to find out about how to get uh, programs in your um, Linux. So go to the terminal. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you've never done this before. So what you've got to say is we're going to install Firefox. sudo, oops, sudo apt update. And you just press enter and let that do its thing. It shouldn't take very long. A few seconds done. Yeah, right. So we're going to do sudo apt install firefox and a dash esr and again enter and that again so when you say this do you want to continue here and um it's got y slash n so that's yes or no so you just put y because that's we want to install it so y and then it does its thing again. Shouldn't take too long, this. Right, so Firefox should be installed if I've done it right. And we go up again at the top on the left-hand side for, for mine. Yes, it's in there. So we have Firefox, uh, Visual Studio and Atom now. And basically, that's what you really need to be a web developer is a browser. And you can put Chromium in. You can put Brave in and things like that. But I've been unsuccessful with that, actually. Um, so yeah, Chromium does work. Not Chrome, but Chromium, which is basically the same thing. Um, and again, we'll use the terminal for um, what we need as well as an image editor. So sudo um, apt install, and I use Darktable, which I think is a lovely, uh, lovely image editor for Linux. Um, many people use GIMP. I don't like GIMP. I think it's just confusing. Um, maybe I'm just thick, but that's the way I feel. Darktable. So we'll let that do its thing. And again, you have the Y slash N, which is yes and no, Y. Right, so Darktable should be installed by now. And uh, when you when you see that it is installed, it's usually your name, mine's Nightshooter87, at Penguin. Um, and yours will be something at Penguin as well. So um, what you, I mean, that it's sometimes minutes when, when these things take to install. So I'm just cutting quite a bit of that out. So you'll see lots of lines of code and stuff like that that you probably don't understand, but that's okay. Um, so we go back to this and now we see, so now we have Atom, Firefox, Visual Studio and Darktable. And that's basically what you need for doing your web development. You've got an image editor, you've got your browser and you've got your code editors. Um, and this is Darktable and, you know, it's really, really nice bit of kit this for your images. And, uh, so yeah, so hopefully, um, You've enjoyed this video, trying to get uh, Linux uh, applications on Chromebook. And this, uh, it's, it might seem very daunting at first, like I've said, but it's actually, once you get the hang of these things, they're quite easy and uh, enjoyable. They actually work well. Sometimes when you're using Ubuntu, Linux, um, Linux Mint, and a few of the others, you, you, you run into all sorts of problems, but these work very well on a Chromebook. So thanks very much for watching.